So on our Momentum Tuesday morning, we are here with Coach K and JL and Becky. What is on our mind this morning? Anything that we can solve the problems of the world? Okay, so. All right, let's hear it. I have a question. I have a question. Has anybody ever... Um, this sounds, this sounds like a game. Has anybody ever, uh, have you ever wanted something so bad that you can't stop thinking about it? I think we all have it at some point. Um, I have. What do you think, JL? Um, when I started my healthy journey, all I wanted to be able to do was to not take three naps a day and not have to physically crawl out of bed because I was at my ultimate lowest. And that was something that I wanted so bad was just to feel a little bit more norm and healthy. You know, I've never had like something that I wanted to buy so bad just because I, I'm not the type of person that has to like buy something maybe a gym membership but <laughs> um but then also when I went back to work like I I knew I wanted more you know I, I was not willing to give up until I until I got that so that's like what that means like when you say that that's what I think of mm -hmm. so yeah I just um this whole I, and I brought it up here before is um, you know the just everything that's going on with the the farm and the farmland and last night I was listening to the high five habit on my way home from Milwaukee and chapter 14 is actually titled you might not want to read this and um and it was a story about something that she wanted so bad that she ultimately ended up getting. She never let go of the dream. And after 11, and then 11 years later, she got it. And it was talking about, and then she was just talking about manifesting. And so I realized how I, um, when the work gets hard, I, I will let, like, not really let go, but I, I do, I kind of, that's when I second guess, you know, how badly I really, how badly do I really want this? Like, you know, and so not really sure yet where I'm going with this other than just to really maybe ask you guys for support and not letting go of my dream until um, it's really, it, 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 it either, it happens. I mean, I just have to keep taking the steps. And um, it's really, I don't know, I guess I don't always know what the steps are, right? So, but some things are keep showing up and this is where I'm like, just keep doing the work, Nancy, because I end up making connections that I never knew I would make. And every day when I do my Think and Grow Rich study, even though what I wrote on the paper doesn't say anything about the farm, the visioning I do always includes the farm or the, the land. And, you know, one, one thing I'd encourage you to really think about is the end result. Could I live without this? Could I be satisfied living without this in my life? Would I regret not having it. Honestly, from, from what I know, 
I, I don't think you'd be really happy having that piece missing. Now, I, I truly can't answer that 100% for you. But, you know, that, that is looking at the end result. You, you, sometimes we have to look at the end and walk it back. And, you know, we may not know how to make it happen or keep it around or make, make the big giant dream come to fruition, but it's, you know, can't, would, would I be satisfied without it in existence? Yeah. Something Thanks. I, um, too, I get oh, stuck in. Oh, sorry. What if no, on the days, that, what if on the days that you're f feeling challenged, because those could be things that are restoring that have been challenging. You wrote them down, cross them off and wrote what's going right. What, what you're excited for then manifesting in that location. So you're taking mm -hmm. that negative energy completely out of that. I mean, I'm right now with getting the house ready to sell, going through all the stuff that I am. Anytime that I catch myself in that negative, or like, oh, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Like I seriously am like smack, stop. Mm -hmm. What is going to go right? Just believe that it's going to go right. Because when we, like I always tell Hazel, fail, 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 learn. Like I tell her that all the time. So I have to, but I think I say it out loud so that I remember that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, like, there's lots of steps and there's lots of layers and kind of tie it to like the success that you've had before and different things that you thought you were challenged and think of how, how much you excel and how you're a leader and people look to you for knowledge and wisdom on those things. So you can shift that over and own that, like everything, you already got it all planned out. It's just the, the, the first step of the staircase, one at a time. Yeah. And I think that's what, what's so interesting to me is like, I think I have stopped working on it or not stopped, but like, I feel like, okay, like this, it's not going to happen, but yet I'm not really not working on it. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I feel like, who am I fooling? Like, why, why did I stop saying this is what I wanted when it's still really what I want? And I don't know what it is I even want. Like, all I know is that there's some, there's something meant to happen with the farmland and there's things, you know, that are in play. Um, and I'm meeting people that I wasn't, you know, even thinking about that are starting to show up. So like, a, there are all these little God wings, like, um, I think the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Trust the GPS. Yeah. It sometimes it hurts so much. Like my GPS hurts. Nope. But you know what? That means it's going to be worth it. That means that your heart is feeling it and that you have feelings and that you're feeling, feeling it. And it can be oh so hard when it hurts, but that is part of it. Oh. I had and that I on my Becky on put Sunday. I was like, my gut hurt. Like I just was like aching, leaving up north. And I, like, I'm like you, I have that burning desire. Something that's going to like, if my parents ever get rid of that, that is not, I will do anything and everything to keep it in, keep it going for other people and myself. And, you know, like there's, or like when I was in fitness or stuff, I'm sure you can say from when you did the Ironman, like it hurts so bad some days, but you will feel so damn good at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so proud and I I see Beck 
corrected me that it wasn't GPS. It is God. <laughs> God, universe, source. And it is funny because last night on my way home, I was thinking, oh my gosh, um, I'm working at all the wrong things. Like, I, I, what am I doing in this whole leadership arena? There's so many people already doing that. I need to stop doing that and just work on the, the farmhouse. And then, um, so on the farmland. And then, I, you know, I sit down this morning and, um, you know, this, I read this um, that says, you know, in my Jesus Calling book, um, says, you keep your focus on me, I form you into the one I desire you to be. Your part is to yield to my creative work in you, neither resisting it nor trying to speed it up. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I do. It's like, I go from resisting it to I got to speed it up to uh, resisting it. to I got to speed it up. Do you know why? uh, Because resistance is your power. What do you mean? So I went to a event and we did a whole event and a whole activity based on resistance is your power. So you think of it like an arrow. Okay. You're pulling back. That resistance is your power to let go of that and make that soar and continue to go. So the resistance keeps you going because you're fighting it. It keeps you going. So when you let go of it, it is your power to keep going. So it's good that you have that resistance because you need to continue to need it to keep growing and going forward. So we always would say resistance is your power. Go, go, go. And I'll have to show you sometime I, when we did the, um, the activity, we broke an arrow on our neck. And it, it really, when you, think, when you think of it, and that's always been something I wanted to share with the group and have an, an hour on and talk about that activity because it was so powerful. Because my, my belief was is that I was a bad mom. I didn't give enough, but those, that really wasn't my thought. Those were thoughts that other people projected on themselves that I put into myself and that I just needed to break through because of what I was going through at the time. So like, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a picture of the arrow. Okay. So you can picture, picture it. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, I never looked. Yeah. Sometimes you just, it's like, yeah, put it in a different perspective. Thank you. Yeah. Love this. I'm a visual. I got to, I got to experience it to visualize it better. Mm -hmm. Great analogy though. Thank you. 